Hello, hello. So it seems to me that it is UTC, uh, four o'clock. So should I start? Klof tells me I should start, so maybe you can even hear me. So is it so? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Awesome. Yes, all fine. Yeah, so thank you for making this, this conference possible, even with this uh, uh, conditions like that we have these days that uh, that all of us uh, have to sit at home. So so greetings for my, uh, from my office, actually. Uh, so, so maybe you can see me in the small corner in the round, uh, in the bottom round, uh, bottom corner. So if it's occupying too much space, like I will try to remove myself later, but so far let's try it with me in the view. So I'm going to talk about the Chrome OS as a new platform. So who of you haven't seen a Chromebook? So it is something that looks like this. So it is like looking like a normal uh, normal laptop, but like inside it is again a normal laptop. It is not like somehow too exciting hardware uh, that is inside. But on the other hand, like it's quite exciting, like from the uh, from the software point of view. So like if uh, if you read like on Wikipedia what actually Chromebook is. Uh, like it's a laptop or tablet uh, that is running Linux based Chrome OS as this operating system. So like this is this is exciting that it is Linux based because uh, like it gives you a uh, lots of opportunities uh, to do things uh, things with that. And actually like the Chrome OS guys uh, apparently are taking it to the to the limits like very well uh, as you uh, will hear later in this, this presentation. The Chrome OS it's uh, instead a uh, itself uh, like is again to Linux based operating system designed by Google. It was announced in not 2009, but in 2009. And uh, uh, it was targeted to run everything in the browser actually initially, at least initially. So uh, the main target were web applications. So like Gmail and, uh, and these things uh, that like run basically on the server. And then you have some like very thin JavaScript layer around that that like provides you with the user interface and everything that you you can and want to do as the user uh, then in addition to this uh, uh, thing these web, uh, web applications there were chrome apps uh, that were available from the uh, from the chrome uh, web store uh, again like uh, they were uh, um, they were things that were uh, that were running in the browser, but were somehow packaged uh, into into a thing that you would ab uh, you were able to launch uh, like directly from the browser, like you have downloaded that uh, have had that running in the uh, in the browser. Uh, but uh, like it seemed that it wasn't the the best uh, idea there, so uh, they started uh, phasing that out in 2016. And I think like uh, this year uh, they are even like terminating this uh, support for that like in the uh, in the Chrome um, uh, the uh, the browser. Uh, so there are more possibilities these ways uh, these days uh, which are like, more exciting. Uh, so there are the Android apps. Um, so the the Chrome OS itself uh, runs a layer uh, that is uh, like the the complete Android and. Uh, and uh, like you can uh, you can run the Android apps uh, inside uh, inside this layer. Uh, so this is available uh, in the in the Chrome OS uh, since 2014, and Google Play uh, was added uh, uh, to the to the mix, uh, uh, like so that like you are able to install things directly from Google Play in two th since 2000, uh, 2016. And what is good about this is that, like, it is enabled on the Chromebooks these days, like by default. So, uh, like, when you buy a, a Chromebook, uh, you are able to uh, to uh, install the Android apps uh, just out of the box. Uh, another very exciting uh, possibility um, that is in the Chrome OS is actually a Linux terminal and applications. But like, it is not uh, directly the terminal that you would run, um, like. Where the, where the Chrome OS itself runs, but it is an additional virtual machine on top of that uh, via a project uh, called Crostini, and uh, it has to be enabled. So like you have to go into the settings uh, 
uh, that is uh, on the on the Chromebook, and uh, uh, then you have to switch uh, something that will like tell you like I'm going to download some 500 megs, megabytes of stuff and and install it on your computer and and uh, like warns you several times. But then like when you have it, uh, you have a full uh, Linux operating system on top of the Linux operating system. Which is exciting, and you can install the Debian uh, uh, Debian packages uh, just fine. Even like there's support for like you click on something in the you know the Chrome OS itself, and it installs it directly into the into the Linux VM. So for example, Android Studio installs this way. Uh, unfortunately, I, like it didn't work for me like uh, too well. This Android Studio, like the the graphics was not working too well on this exact uh, Chromebook I have. Uh, but apparently, like it's work, working better for for others. So uh, we were considering like what to choose uh, for our uh, our application uh, that like we wanted to have on the on the Chromebook, and uh, like it would be uh, nice to uh, use the the uh, the LibreOffice like right away, and it is even possible. Like you can in this uh, in this Linux layer, you can do uh, sudo apt uh, install LibreOffice, and you will get it there. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, like it is not uh, that accessible for the normal users uh, because like it is not enabled by default this VM, and also it is uh, not. Uh, not something that that would be like too familiar for the users. Like they want to search in the apps, they want to see reviews of other people of software and stuff. So, the solution uh, here uh, that we uh, wanted to use uh, was uh, like take the existing or pre-existing Collabora Office Android app and try to make it work uh, so that uh, so that it installs on the uh, on the Chromebook uh, directly from the Google Play. And uh, and basically you 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 have it. And what a surprise! Like it worked out of the box. Well, kind of, of course, uh, because like the presentation hasn't ended yet, right? I have still some twenty minutes. So, uh, like when you install that, uh, you were able to see the the shell of the of the Collabora Office app, uh, but you were actually unable to open files. So, like when you have opened the the file picker uh, for the stuff uh, to choose uh, uh, to choose like one uh, one uh, one thing or the other, uh, you were able to see the directories there, uh, but actually you were unable to see any of the uh, of the files there. Which was surprising because, like in the in another uh, or other uh, like apps, you were able to browse the files, or even like when you tried to save as or something like that. And it turned out that uh, like uh, in the in the app in the Android app, we are using some uh, some limitations of the of the of the MIME types of the files uh, that you are able to see. And from some reason, I don't know why uh, the the Android layer on the on the Chrome OS is blocking that. Uh, so, or there is some kind of a bug, weird bug that, like, when you specify uh, the list of the of the MIME types that you actually like want to see, um, uh, then uh, like no files actually appear at all, and uh, you see only the directories. Uh, so, what uh, uh, we have done is that we just disabled this uh, this uh, like selection or pre-selection of the files. And uh, like we asked the file picker to just show us everything, so that was first step. Then the other was that we actually couldn't write to the Google Drive. Like you are able to open the files uh, from Google Drive. Like you know, when you open the, the file picker for that, like you can see the Google Drive there. Uh, but um, then, like when we uh, when the user actually tried to save something mm -hmm. back, uh, like it just failed. Like no error message nothing it just you know didn't save the file so uh, so we had to uh, or uh maybe it yeah it actually it actually uh, uh has thrown an exception but but that was it like exception and and uh, like yeah no information like why it was failing and everything uh, so it turned out like there are many uh, content providers uh, on the device uh, which uh, go like through the uh, through the android layer down to the uh, to the Chrome OS itself, 
and some of them like uh, allow you to to save on the on the actual device and some of them just you know do not have the writing implemented uh, so like we had to switch uh, uh, like this direct access to Google Drive to read only and uh, the my files uh, which is like what the new the users like normally want usually have actually the same problem on the other hand uh, the device has some something that they call play files and it is mirrored to the Google Drive as well so so the users uh, are actually like reasonably safe in this uh, in this area that like they do not lose the files it is like reasonably convenient for them uh, because like they have to use uh, these different folders like if they want to have like read write access but it is a limitation of the of the of the platform uh, unfortunately like it is not much that we can do about that uh, so yeah we have set it to read only for this uh, for this verb then the next thing uh, was platform enablement uh, because as i told you uh, like uh, it was exciting to see uh, that actually the, the collaborator office app like run out of the box um, but it was all emulated uh, so the Chrome uh, Chromebook is usually like 64-bit, uh, um, uh, like 886 architecture, uh, but the itself uh, the app itself uh, was was provided like under under two ABIs, and that was the ARM uh, v7 and the uh, ARM 64, and. Uh, uh, like this is uh, uh, this is uh, done uh, using some some translation of the code. Um, they say that that like normally uh, like the safe uh, safe choice for the for the uh, for the code translation is uh, the ARM and that the ARM sixty four like doesn't work on all of the Chromebooks. Uh, but you know uh, we had both of these in the in the Play Store already. Uh, but uh, like it was limiting the performance, so we wanted to do something something better. Uh, so we thought, like, yeah, so like the device is uh, x c six sixty four, and I didn't uh, see in the small print somewhere on some hidden page uh, that actually uh, like the Android uh, Android layer uh, that is on the on the Chrome OS is actually AX86, not AX8664. So like we have enabled all the building for the X8664. Um, there were some, you know, things to extend and uh, and make sure it works. And then it was still not used. So surprise, uh, like we had to provide, uh, to switch to X86. But then uh, when we wanted to actually like upload it to the Google Play, uh, it turned out uh, that like when you want to distribute something on the Google Play, it is not that you only provide the uh, the 32 bit uh, version of the application, but like for whatever application that you have, you have to provide the 64 bit version as well. So actually, like the initial uh, like enablement of the X X six sixty four was not a lost time uh, because uh, like uh, when we wanted to ship this X eighty six. Uh, which is the only choice for the Chrome OS anyway, uh, we had to provide the x86-64 in addition to that uh, anyway because of the uh, Google Play limitation. So uh, now, like, uh, when, you, when you want to install the Clover Office from the, uh, from the Google Play, uh, you have, uh, like, according to what, what phone you have or what, uh, what what platform you have like uh, you will have choice from this uh, uh, for uh, for things and it will it uh, you will download the, the right thing for your platform like arm arm 64 or x86 or x x86 64 uh, then uh, there were some life cycles uh, uh, fixes necessary uh, because like previously uh, when you uh, when you were running uh, the uh, the and the application on the on the phone, uh, like it was enough uh, that uh, uh, that uh, like uh, sorry, it was written so that uh, like it wasn't actually too much tested against uh, against the, the the complete life cycle of the you know, of the application as it is uh, as it is recommended like by uh, by Google like how it should look like so. So like this on creates on start on resume before the activity is actually running and then like on pause on stop on destroy. 
And uh, uh, so in the first impl implementation that we had like on the, on the phones, uh, we were uh, not uh, destroying uh, correctly uh, when we, uh, when we like hit the, the on destroy, uh, the on destroy phase. And it was because uh, on the phones, uh, like uh, it is uh, not that uh, usual uh, that you actually like get to this on destroy phase. Um, because like you have to like explicitly um, like swipe away the, the application in the list of the apps or something like that. So uh, so like we didn't notice previously that like when the on destroy was hit like directly from the uh, from the editing part of the application uh, that things uh, went uh, wrong and uh, the stuff wasn't saved actually. But uh, on the Chromebook, it is it is different because uh, like this uh, like complete stop of the uh, stop of the activity uh, going through this on destroy uh, is much more usual use case uh, because it is triggered like when you hit the close button in the in the top right uh, of the of the window, and so uh, we notice that like uh, when you are editing something and just close the application directly. Or close the window with the with the app directly, um, uh, like uh, as you are uh, as you are used to normally. Uh, then uh, the document wasn't saved, which was which was concerning. So like we had to do uh, a rethink of uh, like how the life cycle is supposed to look like and and fix that. And uh, related to that was that uh, like we had to um, call the save directly from the native code. Uh, like uh, iOS was already doing that, but not the Android app. Uh, because like previously we were accounting on the JavaScript still living, so uh, so like it went from like the save went from the JavaScript to native code, then it saved something, went back to JavaScript, and then to Java uh, that you know uh, like uh, copied the stream actually like from uh, from uh, to 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 the device to some content provider. Uh, but uh, like when you hit this uh, this close button, the web view can be actually uh, like that uh, by the time that the, when you when you try to, uh, to to perform the save and copy uh, to the actual content provider. So we we'll had to fix that as well. Uh, then of course, like there were uh, lots of user interface improvements uh, because the Chromebook is actually a laptop. Uh, but when you normally uh, use the uh, use the Collabora Office app, uh, then uh, like the, it is either on mobile, on tablet, or on tablet, and like uh, both these are different because like they are much more touch oriented. Uh, so like you have there uh, like various uh, floating uh, floating buttons that help you like in the navigation on, or you know. Uh, Another difference is that like they start in the read-only mode and not in the editing mode, and you have to switch to that using this floating button and stuff like that. Uh, but the Chromebook like really looks and feels like a like normal laptop. Uh, so even uh, for the app, like you want this to be like more more friendly to the users who actually use that with the mouse or to the users who use the trackpad. Uh, even though like lots of the Chromebooks have the touch uh, touch screen as well, so like you are able to to use the touch screen for the uh, for controlling the app, but uh, it is much more uh, usual that uh, that you use some some uh, of these two like uh, the 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 touchpad or the uh, or the uh, or the mouse. And uh, so for that, like we default uh, to uh, like our checks uh, like. What is the the device form factor? Uh, we default to uh, to desktop on the Chromebook, but in some cases, like whenever it is necessary to behave more like a tablet, uh, we have uh, like uh, um, introduced a special uh, specialized is Chromebook uh, that uh, like helps in these situations, like when it is not supposed to uh, like uh, be exactly as a desktop. Um, of course, we have hidden the sidebar uh, because the screen is actually smaller than uh, than on normal desktop uh, that, that that you are using. Uh, we are not using the Hammer too much. Hammer JS uh, is a uh, is a framework uh, that we use uh, for the support for the touch screen, uh, so we avoid that in most of the cases. 
and uh, like what was triggered by uh, by this work uh, enablement was uh, uh, fixing of the um, floating button for the creating of the new files it was uh, it was uh, like from time to time missing on the Chromebooks like when you started so so there were some small fixes in this area as well and uh, uh, yeah uh, as the last thing uh, we did uh, very small cleanups uh, so one of that was actually porting this uh, uh, beautiful thing that uh, that uh, Michael uh, Michael Beghorn uh, has enabled in the Android builds and that was an update uh, to a new version of Fotconfig, config uh, because previously like it took uh, like extreme uh, extremely a uh, long time uh, to actually load the noto fonts uh, so due to that uh, like we weren't enabling the uh, the noto fonts uh, previously in the app uh, because otherwise the startup times uh, were just were just horrible with that like we had to limit that uh, to use only some of the internal fonts that we have shipped with the uh, with the app itself uh, but uh, due to the uh, and unfortunately like i uh, i'm not exactly sure like who has uh, fixed this in font config um, um would be great to credit them because it was it was a big big leap uh it was it was bugging uh bugging me for a long time uh like why this font config is uh, taking so much time and like it was it was hard to debug that so so uh, whoever did that uh, in font config like he did uh, or she did a great great job there and uh, uh, also the chrome os itself uh, doesn't have a native support for odf mime types so like when you actually have uh, the uh, the file in the in the files app uh, which is the which is the app that uh, that like you you use normally on on uh, either uh, like android devices or on chrome uh, chromebook uh, for uh, for navigation between the files, uh, it was uh, uh, it is missing. So like we had to add a hack into the intent filter uh, that basically like we check for the dots and check that things are ending with uh, with ODT, which is like horrible. Uh, but you know uh, you can have many dots in the file name, uh, so like uh, you have to. Uh, you have to copy that several times, like with uh, with the amount of uh, of dots in there, uh, just just for the case, like the, uh, the the file that 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 you have there uh, has many dots in the name, and and you would still want to to default to opening to uh, to the to the Colabar office there. So uh, that is it for the enablement. Um, like after all these things, uh, like it got to the state that uh, that it is uh, uh, usable. Uh, you can use it for editing your files on the Chromebook. Um, it looks nice uh, from my point of view. It behaves fine. Um, I've used this uh, many times already myself. So uh, so of course, like when I hit some uh, some corner cases, I try to fix that. Uh, there are people reporting um, reporting problems from time to time. Uh, on Google Play directly, uh, so slowly we we are fixing them. Like recently, Mert um, Tumer has uh, has some improvements there, and uh, yes, in the first place, big thanks to AMD who made this uh, this work possible in the first place, uh, because they have uh, they had, uh, had that they, they, they had funded uh, this enablement work there. So that's it from me. I think. So I'll try to switch to Jitsi back. And we'll check if you have heard me or if I was speaking uh, to nobody. So please, do you have any questions? If not, then thank you so much for listening. Oh, so there was some something. Yeah, so somebody was uh, 
uh, was wondering about this x86 yes it was it was funny to, to find out uh, maybe they will switch to, to 64 bit at some stage I don't know uh, but uh, but it is as it is um, anything else as a question I don't think there is anything so thank you so much and have a great rest of the conference and great weekend. See you.